Hi guys, my name is Rachel and I am going to show you one of my favorite tools that I have been using for my Glowforge, but you can use this with any laser, CNC, or any type of other machine. Um, this could also even be useful for people that use crickets or other types of cutters. So let's get started. This is called Template For Me. Um, I used this when I was about a month into my Glowforge experience and I have loved it. And even though I've really developed my own skills, I still use this tool all the time. It just makes things so much easier. And if you guys have seen any of these different monograms on sale and they give you the whole alphabet for like $15, $20, you can do this and so much more customization with template for me. So I would advise before you buy any of those other designs on Etsy, check out template for me. There's even a seven week or not seven week, seven day free trial. Um, so the guy that runs it, his name is Andrew. He is amazing. Um, so I would actually reach out to him and I can give you his information in the comments for this video. But um, this is such an amazing program. So I just wanted to kind of go through what template for me looks like um, and how to kind of mess with it. So let's just really focus on some of the basics for this first video. We'll do the monogram. So as you can see, at first here, you have your basic monogram. You have your name and then you have your back letter. So it's really, really, really easy to change this. So I'm just going to do my name just to make it easy. So I will do R for Rachel. And then I will do my name. I'm actually going to do this in all caps. Now, the reason I do this in all caps is because that way it can cut out really, really easily. And I don't have to worry about the stability as much. So you see that I have both of these that I literally hit update text. And there we go. Now, a lot of you guys might say, well, I'm not a huge fan of this style. Well, that's the amazing thing about template for me is there's so many different adjustments that you can make to this. So the first thing that you, we can do is we can change the R. Now, the first thing that I did is I would actually scroll through. Now, some of the times there's a little bit of a glitch on this. So actually what I prefer to do is if you click over here on the step two, this will actually show you all the different R's that are available. And so there can be some fancier ones. There can be some like less fancy ones. It kind of depends on what you're looking at. And now the other great thing is you can also change the size of this. So if you wanted a smaller R, if you wanted a larger R, so we'll go down here, we'll go back to that in just a second, but you can go to back, which, cause that's what's in the back right now for me. And you can actually make this larger. Now you do not want it to go off the screen. Okay. So if it goes off the screen, then that means it won't show up. So make sure it does not go off the screen. But if it's something like that, that's awesome. Now, let's say you want this to be smaller. You can also change that. So that's front. Now, when you say front, that will change the size of this Rachel part, but it will not change the lines. Let me show you what that looks like. Now, that could be what you want, depending on what you're putting this on. But since I am planning on cutting this out, if I cut this out, this would fall off. And so I actually want that to be more connected. So what I'm going to do instead, since I want this to be smaller, is I go to lines. And with lines here, I can actually change this to make it smaller. All right, I'm more happy with that. And I can actually also change the placement of this. So if I wanted it to be here instead, or if I even wanted it to be closer to the top of my name, I can do that. Now, this is one of the things I love about template for me is a lot of these other types of monograms, you're kind of stuck with whatever design they give you. It's really basic. But with template for me, I can really customize it. So I've put designs here at the bottom before. You can also change how big the lines are. So I want lines all the way across. I've had some customers say they don't really like the lines, so I almost get rid of them. So it is totally up to you with that. Now, let's go ahead and go back to more of a basic monogram. So I'm gonna put this in the middle like a lot of our typical monograms are. Okay, now again, fonts, easy to change. So you go right here and it gives you all of the other types of fonts you can change it to. So let's say I wanted this one. Okay, cool. 
um, I can try a few other ones. So you can just try them out and you can kind of see over here. That's why I like to click on this instead. You can see them ahead of time over here. And I will tell you after working with this for a while and after doing so many of the monograms and other things for customers, there are a few go-tos that a lot of people seem to like. So um, this seems to be one of them, but it really depends on the style. I really love, and it really depends on the name, the civil one, this one. So I don't really love it with my name because the L's hanging off, but it really depends on the name. And I think that's a pretty cool font, but I really like some of the different curly type ones. So I think the one that I showed you guys a little bit before is one of my favorites. So I actually really like that one. Awesome. So I'm going to go down here to front. I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. Now, the reason why I'm going to make that bigger is because if you see this right here, it's like almost hanging off just the tiniest, but it's still connected. That will be one cut. But if I make it just a little bit bigger, it increases the stability. And so I won't have to worry about the sign falling apart. So that's one of the things I also like about template for me, because I feel like it really um, makes sure that the structural integrity of the sign is held together. Now, if that wasn't cool enough, there's so many other cool things that you can add. So here's the next thing. If you're doing monograms, one of the typical things that I often add is attached. Now, if you've ever seen any of those really cool squirrels, sw not squirrels, swirls on the monograms, these gives this gives you a few different options that you can add. And I've had customers ask for all of these different options. So it really depends. Um, sometimes when I usually show monograms to customers, I come up with about six designs for them. And I can usually come up with those six designs in about, now that I've done it enough, about five minutes. So this is so easy for me. And then the customers feel really appreciated because they feel like, wow, you spent so much time working with me on these designs. You came up with all these unique designs. Sometimes I even wait an extra half an hour so they think that I'm doing my work, but I've already come up with all the designs already. Um, just so they kind of think, wow, this person is really taking so much time to make sure I get exactly what I want. So these different designs add all different types of aspects to it. So you can kind of add all different types of designs. It kind of depends on the name. So this one might not look great with my name. I did this recently with a C though, and the customer loved it. So it completely kind of depends. And so you can kind of use your best judgment and come up with the designs from there. So the attached are some of my favorite different things that you can do. And the other great thing about this is that Andrew and the other people that are working for template for me are always adding new things too. So this is super cool, really, really amazing. For the purposes right now, I will put no swirl, but you can also add images. They have tons of images. Now these images right up here are commercial free images that I found that I actually used and uploaded myself. Yet another thing that I love for template for me, you can upload your own images and then you can put that in the background. Now this image I did not really make very great because it's not really big enough, but you can change the size of it. You can change the placement of it and that can now be in your background too, which is super amazing. Um, so you could do this house again, house doesn't really work for what we're looking for because it kind of covers up everything else. But let's say I even wanted this dinosaur in there. I can make the dinosaur a lot smaller and then I can put the dinosaur behind my name. Again, doesn't really work for what I'm doing, but if you wanted a dinosaur back there, now you also don't have to have the R, so you can go up here, literally delete it. And now I just have a dinosaur there, which is kind of cool too. So I've done that for a lot of different designs too, is I don't even use the letter, I just use the design. And then what's cool next is if you're doing a monogram and for whatever reason you want something to have a border around it, that's really, really easily easy to do as well. And then you can have a border around it. You can change the size and all of that stuff to kind of fit the way that you want to do it. So let's say I'm happy with this. Maybe do it a little bit bigger, change my lines, make them a little bit bigger. And we'll go over some of the specifics of this in other videos. Um, and then we'll actually make the border go down a little bit. We'll make the dinosaur go down a little bit. And there we go. And let's say I'm really, really happy with this. Now there's a few different ways that you can download it. 
you can download it. First of all, change the name. So let's say I want to just call this Rachel. Um, you can export it as a PNG or you can export it as an SVG. Now, if you want to download it to your Glowforge software um, or some of the other laser cutting software, you will need to use an SVG. However, what I typically do in you, I don't know if you can see the bottom of my screen, I typically download them both. Now, the reason I download them both is the SVG goes into my Glowforge. The PNG, I can send that via Facebook or email or all these other types of things to my customer. So when I create things, I download, download. And then when they say, hey, I really love the dinosaur one, you can say, perfect. You already have the SVG created. You already have everything done. You literally upload it and click go. So that's an intro on to um, template for me and how I've used it before. That is just the very, very brief thing. We are going to go into the specifics of other things on how to use all the other features and um, really manipulate these things to make even cooler things a little bit later. But I just wanted to kind of show you guys some of the basics of template for me first. So thank you guys for watching. I will be coming back with more tutorials on template for me, including ornaments, um, wall hangings, um, career oriented signs and ornaments and many other types of things. So check those videos out. Thank you guys so much and download template for me. It's template, le the letter or sorry, the number four me.com. Um, and that's how you can purchase it. And it's actually a super affordable price. When I purchased it, it was like $30 a year. It might be a little bit more, but I will tell you it is a hundred percent worth it. I would pay more than $30 a year by far. So thanks guys. Looking forward to talking to you guys next time.